Hey guys, so today we're making a vegan tuna melt. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Let's get started with the video. So this is actually some footage from a previous video I did with the vegan birria tacos. And so I wanted to show you guys how to prep the jackfruit because we're using jackfruit and chickpeas for this recipe. And so I'm just using two cans of jackfruit. I'm going to rinse them off. And then I'm going to boil um, boil them on the stove because we want a neutral taste for our jackfruit. So you're going to boil it on the stove. I boiled it for an hour. And then after an hour, I'm going to drain it and rinse it with some water. And then I'm going to put it in the pot and boil it for another hour and then rinse it again. And then our jackfruit should have a nice neutral color for our, not neutral color, but a neutral taste for our tuna. And so this is what it looks like after you boil it uh, twice. And so I'm just putting it in my food processor and then I'm using one can of chickpeas. Um, I made sure that I drained and rinsed the chickpeas. And then this is uh, some red bell pepper, celery, and then some red onion. And so I'm just seasoning this up to my taste to make sure you season your food because we don't want no bland food. And because we are using like chickpeas and jackfruit, this stuff doesn't have flavor. So you need to really put a lot of seasoning in this and so one thing that was missing from this um and i don't have it but it's like uh something to give it like that fishy taste like tuna and so i didn't have that but you should be able to find that at your local asian market or if you have like a, a specialty store you should be able to find it there but i didn't have it but it still turned out really really good and so i'm just blending all of this up i'm using the pulse uh button on my food processor and you're just gonna mix it until you reach your desired consistency and so this is what it's looking like so far um and i'm just stirring it up with a spatula i did add about three or four tablespoons of vegan mayo and so you could totally leave it this consistency because i think it actually looks pretty good but i'm going to blend it up a little bit because my husband doesn't like like the bean taste and so he didn't want like chunks of beans in there so i'm just mixing it up a little bit more and this is what it looks like i still think this texture is great um and obviously do this to whatever texture you want um because it's kind of like tuna you know some people like their tuna a little more creamy some people like it you know a little on the drier side it's really what you want it to be and so i'm just transferring it to a bowl and i am adding a little bit more of vegan mayo and so i would say i added total about six tablespoons of vegan may mayo give or take um and then i'm just mixing that up basically you're just gonna jazz this up like you would with your your regular tuna so I'm adding some uh, sweet relish to this and you're gonna see me add quite a bit of relish um, but I, I really like the taste of relish in my tuna and of course like I said this jackfruit and chickpeas it doesn't have a whole lot of flavor so this relish is gonna add a nice little tang to your chickpea jackfruit tuna <laughs> and so I am adjusting my seasoning make sure you taste your food again we don't want bland food y'all taste this food and make sure that it's seasoned to your taste i'm adding some old bay some black pepper a little more relish um and just continue to stir until it reaches your desired consistency So I'm using sourdough bread for this recipe. The sourdough bread is vegan friendly and I'm just drizzling some olive oil on there and I'm going to toast it up in my air fryer or you can do this in a pan on the stove, whichever is easiest for you. This is what our vegan tuna looks like. I just put some smoked paprika on the top and now I put some of the, the tuna salad on my bread and then I'm adding some tomatoes. You can use some vegan cheese for your tuna melt, but my husband wanted the cheddar cheese for his sandwich today. And so this is a vegetarian sandwich today, but you can certainly use vegan cheese and make it totally vegan. And so I'm just putting it back in the air fryer just to melt the cheese. And then this is it guys. Um, I ho really hope you enjoyed this recipe. 
um the sandwich turned out really good it tastes just like tuna um nice texture nice taste serve it with your favorite chips um please make sure you like share and subscribe i'll see you in the next video bye